I love landscape photography, so exposure bracketing is a technique I use all the time to create HDR images. I also love Darktable because it let me create these HDR images using plugins all within Darktable, so no need for external applications. And there isn't just one way to create HDR with Darktable. From what I know, there are three. But all of them have pros and cons, so in this video we will explore them so you can decide what works best for you. So if that sounds good for you, let's go! The first way to create HDR with Darktable is to use the default HDR button. You can find it in the light table under action on selection. Using it is very simple. You select the images you want to merge and then you click on create HDR. And that's it. This method is straightforward but somewhat limited, so it only works on raw files and it doesn't do alignments. So if like me you like landscape photography, this button is completely useless uh, because your pictures are probably never aligned. But the good news is method 2 and 3 fix this issue. If you've watched my video before, you probably already know this method. So it consists of using the HDR Merge plugin to create your final image. I won't re-explain how to install and use it because I've already covered it in another video. But using this plugin is very simple and it will align your image before merging them. This method is much better than the default button and since I discovered it, I'm using it 92.7% of the time. But this method is not perfect and there are still a few inconveniences you need to be aware of. The first problem is that from time to time the plugin can create weird artifacts. For example, in this picture, the center of the street light were black even though the original photo were perfectly fine. The second problem is that the HDR Merge plugin doesn't work with CR3 files, so if you have a Canon camera manufactured in the last few years, it might not work at all. But don't worry, I have a solution for this. The third method requires a little bit more work, but it will work with any format. So we will pre-process the pictures inside Darktable. After pre-processing, we will export them as TIFF files and then we will merge the TIFF files to create the final HDR. For pre-processing, I start with the first picture. I disable the Filmic and Exposure module and that's it. If you are using Sigmoid, you need to disable that instead of Filmic. I used to add sharpening, lens correction and noise reduction for pre-processing but I realized it made my picture worse so I don't do that anymore. Once the picture is pre-processed, I copy and paste the history stack to the remaining pictures. Next I go to the export module and export them as 16-bit TIFF files. Now that we have our TIFF files, we can use the Enfuse Advanced plugin to create our final HDR. To do so, go to Script, Page 2 and enable the Enfuse Advanced plugin. Next, go back to the Export module and under Target Storage, select DRI or DFF. The exposure weight need to be set to 1 and the rest can stay at 0. Next, go to Show Options and make sure Align Image Stack is enabled. Then, go to Target File and select TIFF 16 bits. Finally, make sure your images are selected and click on export. And voila! We have our final image that was stacked with the Enfuse Advanced plugin. We can now do our final edit and post it on Instagram so our moms can like it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, just give me a like and see you next time.